Solve the root problem. Solve the root problem. Solve the root problem. I cannot tell you how many times I have been doing my day job and I'm bringing up all the issues that we're having and the exact reason why they are happening. I'm going to input this right here because I just went on the whole rant and forgot to do the intro. So, welcome back. My name is Matthew Holland and my goal is to teach you all the things I wish I knew sooner on how to actually be successful as I grow through my entrepreneurial journey. My hope is that you learn from these videos sooner than I did so that you can become more successful quicker than I will. Back to the video. And it's constantly met with, okay, well, how long would it take to implement the solution to never have this problem ever again, ever. And I tell them how long it'll take and what resources I would need to fulfill the solution and it's met with, that'll take too long, just fix it for right now, and we'll worry about that later. And I go, okay, and then, do 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 a week later, same problem. If it even makes it a week, just solve the root problem. That's, that's just my finding. I feel as if, and I've, I've found in my past, that when working in a group of people or when you're trying to make something bigger, like scaling, if you constantly run into these issues and it's the same problem on a repeat cycle, that is more money going out the window because you aren't solving the root problem. That is more hours that could be put towards something productive. And I promise you this, from my findings, every time I have solved the root issue, things have moved faster. That My findings. If you are comfortable with stopping your car every 10 minutes to pump up the tire again, instead of just plugging the hole that's causing the flat, good for you and I hope the best for you. But in my history, I have found that it is just 10 times easier to solve the problem and never look back. Never look back. I have never had my own business. I have never run into these problems as a business owner, but I guarantee I will. And I will keep this very, this is a hill I will die on. The way you do this is keep drilling down on whatever the problem or hiccup or whatever it is. Just keep drilling down until you can't drill down any further and start there. And it will be annoying. It's always annoying to find out that something's not working and it's not the something that's not working. Just keep drilling down. Every time I've done that, I have saved multiple hours. And this is from my personal experience. I was building out a program with one or two other developers. And one of the developers, rather than learning how the services that we were using worked, every time we ran into a hiccup, he would just re-download from GitHub and then try to get it working again, only to find out that it wasn't the program and now he's wasting hours on setting everything back up again properly in his local environment. It is just solve the root problem. Sometimes the root problem is up here. You have to learn something first. You have to move slowly before you can move fast. Them's the rules. So this is day 19. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you for having me and I'll see you tomorrow.